the market has nothing to do with the economy. I know, you, I know it's this crazy statement, but it really does it again. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly update show. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody had an amazing uh, trading day. If you are new here, please like, subscribe. You'll really be helping uh, the channel a lot. And we, as a return, we try to give you the most unbiased, uh, unbiased outlook uh, on the market that we could possibly can. So that's what it is. So let's talk about it. So today's the Fed day, right? Uh, yesterday, super aggressive action. Um, again, as we've been talking about for a long, long time now, since, well, the start of 2023, uh, bad news consistently is getting engulfed. You can see that all through, you know, all through the month of January. You can see on any day that has a potential uh, move down, it gets completely, uh, completely engulfed. I mean, that's the best way of saying, and that, that's what bullish action looks like. Again, I don't care what you call this, a bear market rally, a bull market rally, whatever you want to do. I mean, it's not the first time you, you've heard me talk about this, but whatever it is, acknowledge the price action, right? Respect the price action. And right now, uh, the price action uh, is acting incredibly well. Uh, again, you know, you can go through, you know, 30 different thousand sites, breaking down exactly what the Fed did today. This is basically it. F Fed raised rates a quarter point, and they're expecting uh, ongoing increase. That's all you need to know. And it's not what they said, it's the reaction, right? We talk about price action all the time. It's the reaction of what they said and how they said it, and whether they said it, it's gonna be good, bad, or indifferent. The point is the market is the market and fair value is the closing basis. And you saw uh, the two o'clock reaction, right? You saw the two o'clock reaction initially spike up a little bit, then come in a little bit. And once Powell started speaking and there wasn't really anything materialistically um, that was different in his speech um, or in his words from the last uh, Fed meeting, cues just absolutely exploded, everything exploded. And here we are, right? So whether you're calling this a bull market or a bear market or whatever market you want, supermarket, right? Whatever market your heart desires. The point is the price action is spectacular. Uh, the Dow was down at some point today, 300 points. Uh, they closed, uh, what, did they, what did the Dow close today? The Dow closed uh, up on the day. Uh, NASDAQ put up another 2% move. I, what, you know, what, are we, what are we looking at? The NASDAQ up, what so far, what, 13%, right? 13%, 14% for, uh, uh, for, the, for the first uh, you know, month, month, month and a couple of days. So yeah, the Bulls are doing it, man. The Bulls are doing it. As you can imagine, uh, everything went nuts today, right? After the Fed meeting, everything went nuts. Uh, Tesla, Amazon, NVIDIA went nuts. Spies went nuts. Qs went, I mean, anything market-sensitive stocks uh, went absolutely crazy. Again, this is where we, we talk about all the time. A lot of new traders are just overthinking it. You guys really are. You, you, you still can't separate. Uh, you guys still can't separate real life it, real life economy versus uh, the stock market. They're completely disconnected. We, we, we talk, I think we talked about this in the last, literally in yesterday's video. The, the market has nothing to do with the economy. I know, you, I know it's this crazy statement, but it really does it. Again, go back to last night's video. We talked about this. 2009 was the generational bottom. In 2009, people were saying, how can the market rally here? This is a dead cat bounce. Look what's going on in the world here. The market is, you know, the world is, is still, you know, still uh, bracing from, the, you know, the financial, uh, financial crisis, the domino effect. How can with the market be going up that's the whole point right that's the whole point and, and now again not to compare compare this to the generational bottom of 2009 but again like we said uh, at the start of the year we were down 33 percent right 33 percent we were down in the, in the on the nasdaq for 2022 and people are still looking for the market to collapse the market collapsed it was 2022 and now what we've been talking about since the Qs reclaimed 278 Right, that was the bull signal. Once we reclaimed the two fifty, the two seventy eight on the bulls, and reclaimed the fifty day moving average, that was it, guys. Again, th think about it. Three down days since January the sixth. Again, whatever you want to call this, it's pretty damn impressive. And again, it doesn't make a difference what your opinion is. 
um, what you think is going to happen two weeks from now, three months from now. It doesn't make a difference. Why don't you just tell me who you think who, who's going to win the Super Bowl, right? It's, it's, it's opinions. Who cares, right? You're either going to be right or be wrong. But the point is, if you're waiting for this epic collapse, uh, it already happened, right? It was called 2022. Is it possible the market turns around tomorrow, And right? We start, you know, having technical damage. Absolutely, of course. But again, if you're trading trade by trade, day by day, uh, your inventory is protected via hedges, or whatever the case may be. Uh, you're never going to be, you know, you're never going to be surprised as long as you know uh, where the wind is blowing. And obviously, again, as you can pretty much see it, uh, the wind is uh, very strong uh, behind the bull's back. That's it. I mean, that's basically it. I, I, you know, I'm not sure how more uh, creatively we could talk about what's happening in the market. Uh, I know it sucks, especially for new traders, uh, that you're fighting the market or not participating in the long side because you don't believe this rally. Again, what, what can we do? We're all adults here, right? You could either trade in the market and not trade in the market. It's not going to really affect uh, anybody else. But the point is, at some point, you have to start looking at the market uh, that you have and not the market that you want and um, and try to participate. If not, you know, whatever. Listen, yeah, everybody everybody could talk about the market. It's great uh, water cooler talk. But at the end of the day, if you're not an, or an, not an active participant uh, throughout the day, uh, hopefully one day you'll decide uh, to participate. And that's it. So as you can imagine, uh, going into tomorrow, uh, Meta is definitely setting the tone for tomorrow. Meta came out with earnings. And as you can see here, yeah, this is a pretty, pretty big Viagra-esque uh, type of candle. And as you can imagine, it's taking everything up with it. Amazon, not only did it have a phenomenal spike here towards the end of the day, uh, but it is up into the 107 gap. Uh, tomorrow, uh, you got the you got the Super Bowl of the, the three amigos. You got Apple, you got Google, you got um, Amazon coming out with earnings. Uh, pretty big bets ahead of Amazon uh, into earnings, even today into weakness when it got back down to uh, the rising 60 minute support, excuse me, the rising five day support, uh, which the bulls trapped the bears again. Uh, they were coming for the 108s, which basically is gonna be there uh, after hours, 108s, 110s and the 115s ahead of tomorrow's earnings. Does it mean it's gonna blow out their number and go to 130? Who the hell knows? Again, earnings are a crapshoot. Uh, tomorrow, you got also uh, Google. You know, Google, we saw uh, some pretty decent bets as well for the 105s, you know, nice looking chart there as well. And Apple, right? The world's, one of the world's most important companies, hoarder of cash, your friend and mine, because everybody has 12 different Apple products uh, in their home because that's the way we are programmed. You know, they're on deck for earnings uh, as well. So that's it. I mean, that's basically the technical side of what's going on here. Uh, any weakness in the market tomorrow, uh, you know, try again what we talk about every single day. Look for strong stocks into rising support for any weakness because uh, that's what's happening. The bears are getting trapped into rising support. And when they do get trapped into rising support, stocks tend to uh, snap back. For now, that's where the bullish tone is. And for now, uh, that's where the money flow is to be uh, observed. And that's it. So let's talk about the pivots. Uh, I mean, look, as you can imagine, um, you know, everything went nuts, right? It's not, you know, no, you know, we didn't do anything different today or magical today. If this was one of those social media things where I'd be interviewing 19 people that made $32 on the day, who gives a shit? And I say that in the nicest way. When everything goes, everything goes. You don't have to be a genius, right? You don't have to be a genius when technical analysis confirms supply, stocks go higher. When technical analysis confirms demand, stocks go lower. And that's exactly where we are. And today you can see uh, even before the Fed, stocks were going incredibly aggressive today. And that's the point. Uh, people are going aggressive. The market sentiment is strong and the price action played out. So let's talk about the pivots here. Uh, Amazon uh, pre-market stopped in that 103.50s level. It came into the five-day moving average. It got it got held. It got defended. They reclaimed back the 103.50, and here is Amazon, right? Here is Amazon, uh, about to you know about to soon hit that 108 uh, top of the range between 107 and 108. But that is the area. If you are holding uh, some Amazon overnight for all you guys in the webinar, make some sales here. There's no reason to wait for tomorrow. Make some sales into this push into the 107. Uh, 108s, a really nice move on Amazon. As you can see here, it took down this 103.50. And here's where I'm talking about this. one. You see this 107, 108s, right? That's the next supply. That's what I'm saying. Uh, the price action should be uh, stalled out a little bit. IQ, we talked about this a couple of days ago. Massive reload buyers came in yesterday uh, for the February and the March 8.50 and $10 calls. Uh, 7 and 7, 10, you know, that's the, that's the spot. You know, that's the spot here. Here was IQ. Really nice move today into the 730 area. 
Really nice move, really, really nice move there as well. Again, option flow continues to dictate uh, what the market has done. Uh, Boeing, this is before, right? This is before um, this is before the, um, the Fed, right? Went nuts. Boeing uh, 215 needs to build tight daily base. Here was Boeing. Ironically, it actually turned around, but look at that. Look at the move here at the open. Took down this whole 215 channel uh, and went to 219. Great, great move on Boeing today. Uh, as you can see, everything, you know, Tesla, 174.30 needs to build. It built, right? It built. It took down every level today. Every level. Took down the 74.30. Took down the 77. Uh, 77 where it got rejected several times pre-market and traded right to uh, supply here at 184. This thing confirms 184 tomorrow. There's 10, there's 10 more points in the, in the stock. They were coming for the 190s and the 200 weeklies like they were going out of style. Big move there. Uh, NVIDIA, geez, let's, NVIDIA, talk about NVIDIA. 197, 198 needs to confirm. Look at NVIDIA, man. Talk about a rock star. Look at NVIDIA. Look what this damn thing did. Look what this damn thing did. Went to 212. Just, it's sick. Just absolutely sick move on NVIDIA. NET I wasn't watching. 5380 needs to build. I have no idea what NET did. I'll be finding out right now what you guys, eh, not, not a big move. Uh, 5380. Looks like I went up a, a buck and change, but again, nice move there. Uh, Lamb Research, right? LRCX uh, 500, uh, 501, let's call it 501 and 504.55 macro area needs to build, thin trader. I mean, look, what, look what LRCX did today. I mean, this is crazy. Look at what LRCX did. It took down the 501, took out the 505, and the damn thing went to 534. Okay, right? Okay, uh, Docu, I like I like this Docu. Uh, Docu 6160 needs to confirm the 200-day moving average. Uh, here is Docu, it closed right above the 50-day moving average here uh, over that 63 level, big move there. Uh, again, this thing looks higher on Docu. But again, guys, you could see every chart. If a stock didn't participate today, it would be odd, right? So if, when, you're, when you're dealing with high beta names, especially mega cap technology names, if the queues are exploding, everything's going to explode. It's so again, it's not like we did anything special today. Stocks has got super duper aggressive on, on macro channels. And speaking of the queues, this is the one that just set everything into orbit. Uh, 295 rejected twice, uh, needs to confirm. And here were the queues, right? We talked about the queues last night, stopped at both areas. If you, look, if you watched last night's video, you could pretty much get... You can pretty much guess areas we were talking about for today. And you know, we talked about in last night's video. You know, Q stopped back-to-back -back areas of 295. They reclaimed 295, went all the way up to 303. Just absolutely incredible move. And I think that was it, right? Oh, and but little, hey guys, watch this little BB, right? Um, watch this little um, Blackberry, right? 442 needs to build. It just started. It just started. Keep an eye on this thing today for tomorrow. Uh, look at BB, right? It took out the 442, traded, eh, not, not a big move, only went up about a dime, but keep an eye on this uh, BlackBerry in case these meme stocks uh, wake up again. And Shop, Shop was weird. Uh, I bought Shop, it went up about 70 cents, it went up about 70 cents, then it came in, it was pretty much a flat trade. Uh, yeah, whatever, not, you know, you can't get everyone, but uh, ultimately, guys, just, you know, What's there left to say, right? What's there left to say? Pretty cool, and and I said this, uh, and I said this, um, you know, a long, long time ago. You know, just trade the market you have, guys. Okay, we we all have this sensationalized uh, opinion of what life should be, what the market should be. The point is, life is not fair, trading is not fair, and sometimes you're going to be distracted from everything around you, but what's in front of you uh, that you can see plain uh, Jane. So, guys, that's it, guys. Tomorrow is Thursday. It is my nightly uh, night off. If you are joining us tomorrow uh, on the web uh, in the webinar or on the Squawk Box, welcome aboard. I look forward to working with you guys. Uh, so tomorrow there is no video. I will see you guys then on the weekend video. Right? Have a great, great Friday. May all your blessings come true. Stay healthy and stay solvent. Have a great night, guys. See you tomorrow.